man look at this weather seems like one day it's 50 degrees outside the next day it's snowing I love springtime in the Midwest so today we're gonna continue on our goat stall down here so I recently just got done building this uh, this goat stall down here in the lower level of our barn my wife wants to get Nigerian dwarf goats and uh, that's kind of like something that she's wanted for a long time so her birthday is coming up here and uh, I'm trying to get this all done so this year she can finally get uh, these Nigerian goats that she wants. So right now this stall is blank. There's really nothing in here. And I need to get it prepared so that she can purchase some goats. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to build a, a hay feeder to go on this wall right here. Uh, I've got a mineral feeder. It's in here in the barn somewhere. I need to get a mineral feeder hung. Not sure exactly where I'm going to put it, maybe over here on this wall. And then I need to get some kind of a bucket or a trough or something so that uh, so there's water in here uh, for the goats to drink. And that way everything's ready for whenever she finds the goats that she wants to buy. So to make this uh, hay feeder, what I'm going to do is I've got some of this, I've got some of this uh, panel, this like fence panel. I've got some of this left over. I've got a scrap piece of this and that's going to kind of determine the size of this this hay feeder is not going to be overly large it's just going to be able to take like maybe a flake or two of of hay and and be able to put in there so it just it uh, ain't going to be able to hold like a whole bale of, of hay or nothing like that it's just going to be a small hay feeder to hang on this wall there so i'm going to go up to the um the upper part of the barn here this is where that's where we got a bunch of material stored and uh, see if i can find some scrap pieces of wood uh, to be able to build this hay feeder so I went through the barn and I found some scrap material. So this here is a basically a 1x12, but this is kind of a what I'd call a sawmill quality or a sawmill grade. It's actually a true one inch thick. It hasn't been sanded down or anything, so it's got a rough finish, but it's actually a true one inches thick. And uh, the surface, of course, is rough and it's 11 and a half inches wide, but it's basically a 1x12 before it's planed down to a nice smooth board. So it's, it's a little extra thick, thicker than what you're gonna buy in a store. But even though it's got a rough finish, this should work out pretty good for the hay feeder. And then I've got, I've got two of these. I've got two of the one by 12s. I've got a, a piece of a two by six here. And then I've got the sheep and goat fence panel. I've got this little piece of one. So this is 20 inches by 32 inches. And this is pretty much gonna determine the size of the hay feeder. So I'm going to take the one by 12s. I'm going to use that for the bottom. So it's going to have like a pan at the bottom. So any of the, the hay that they drop will help hopefully get caught in, in the pan. And then the, the one by 12s will also make the sides. And uh, that's going to basically kind of make the rough shape of, you know, the hay feeder. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get start cutting this out. I'm going to get it assembled and you'll basically uh, once you see it finished, I think you'll understand how it all went together.
So I've got our hay feeder all mounted and uh, this bottom lip here is 17 and a half inches off the ground. Hopefully that is low enough that they'll be able to reach up in here and get the hay and hopefully it's not too short that they'll try to go in the top of it. But my wife's getting Nigerian dwarf goats and I understand they're pretty small uh, in, you know, in stature. So we'll just have to wait and see if this is the correct height or not. If not, I can always unscrew it off of this wall since this is a nice solid wall and I can adjust the height to it. So one other thing that I need to mount is this is a min this is a mineral feeder and I need to mount that on the wall here too. This is so that they have free choice minerals. And uh, this is the biggest one that I could find. Um, this is a three and a half quart mineral feeder so it has a little more capacity. A lot of the ones I found were really small only had a one quart capacity. And uh, so I need to hang this on the wall as well so that they can uh, get some free choice minerals. And I need to get the height on it correct as well. I need it high enough where they can be able to access it, but not too low that they don't poop or pee in it. You know, we don't want to get uh, the minerals or the hay, we don't want to get them contaminated. So that's another reason why we need to keep the, try to get the heights right. So I'm just going to go ahead and mount this basically the same height as this at the moment. And uh, once she gets the goats, we may have to tweak this. So now I still should have enough room to be able to, for right now I don't have anything to water the goats in except probably a five gallon bucket. So for right now I should, there's still enough room in this corner that we can put a nice new or nice clean five gallon bucket and that's how we'll end up watering the goats for the time being. So I'm hoping that this, this tray here in the bottom will catch any of the hay that they don't get in their mouth and falls out. I'm hoping that it will catch some of it at least. Because if that hay falls down and hits the ground, I guess the goats won't eat it and it ends up going to wet waste or just ends up being bedding. Um, so any of the hay we can catch, the better. So in theory, I almost wanted this tray to be bigger so it could catch more. But uh, that would just make it harder and farther for the goats to have, be able to reach. And these Nigerians are actually pretty... They're pretty small goats, so they probably can't reach very far. So we'll just have to wait and see how this works out. Hopefully this tray will maybe catch some of the dropped hay and it won't all go to waste. And like I said earlier, I can I can adjust this height on the wall pretty easily to however big these goats are. Well, I think uh, we can say that the goat stall is now 100% done. Now that we've got, uh, we've got the mineral feeder hung, we've made this hay feeder and we've got that all hung in here. Uh, we just need to throw a, a bucket in here for some water and I think we're good to go and my wife can get some goats. So I know she's already been messaging people on the internet and she's actively, you know, searching for a couple Nigerian dwarf does. So I think the stall is ready for whenever she gets them. So also down here in the barn, I still need to get a chicken coop built. So. My wife has 18 baby chickens and they're getting bigger and then we still have five chickens from our original flock. That's 23 chickens. That may be a little much for the chicken coop that we have. So we want to build a chicken coop here in this section of the barn. We're going to take about 13 by 10 feet uh, and make a nice chicken coop in this side of the barn over here. And hopefully that'll be big enough for the chickens. So it'd be nice to be able to uh, get that done relatively soon before all the baby chickens get super big uh, but that's one thing we need to do another thing that I need to do is I need to get my pastures completed I don't have any pasture right now so I've just got the barnyard at the moment so I do have a small section of pasture behind the barn and I basically just need to put in a corner post with some braces and then I need to put in some extra bracing uh, in a couple other spots and I can pretty much um, fence in a small uh, paddock of pasture uh, that's accessible for the barnyard and that'll give the, my wife's goats somewhere to be able to go. Then after that I've got a larger area of pasture that I need to get fenced in and um, once I get that larger area fenced in um, then we'll probably actually finally look for some type of an animal to be able to raise and to you know to be able to market or sell and I haven't quite decided what that is yet so I need some kind of an animal that I can raise on pasture that can graze on the grass or the brush in the woods or whatever and can eat the hay that we grow and we don't have to put a lot of feed cost into them it'll have to be something um, 
you know, that I can basically be able to feed off of our land. And uh, so I've looked, I've looked at like hair sheep and I've looked at like meat goats and um, the desire in them is just the size of them is way more manageable it seems like for a sheep or a goat it just seems like something easier to deal with than a cow. I know a cow is definitely a choice or an option but meat cows are a little more intimidating. So if you guys got any suggestions on what I can grow out here on my land be able to pretty much eat my hay or be out on the pasture or in the brush uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and put some comments below so I haven't quite decided what type of an animal we're actually going to truly get into uh, for more of a farming purpose the Nigerian dwarfs my wife's getting that's more of a pet purpose for her I think uh, it's more of a novelty she thinks that they're cute animals and then um, she may actually end up trying to do some dairy so we'll just have to wait and see how you know that ends up but uh eventually the idea is to i've got more areas also that i can fence in and uh it'd be nice to fence in a bunch of pasture and be able to raise some type of an animal uh here on the property now as far as uh pigs pigs are concerned we probably will raise some pigs probably maybe two or three at a time and uh that is mainly for us to be able to butcher one ourselves and then we'll probably uh, maybe market uh, you know the other pigs that we raise and see if we can sell them to somebody but um, overall I don't think I want to do pigs as a like full-time big operation um, not saying I won't but uh, I'd rather have an animal that actually eats grass and and uh, you know you can fatten up pretty quick and uh, take off the market you know so anyway any suggestions on what type of animal you think we should raise here in the Midwest uh, on our property uh, leave them in the comments below well, that's it guys I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching